Let's start the journey in Cañaveral while we're riding bikes in the morning. Super relaxing and fun experience. Yet, someone almost ran over my phone. So it wasn't all funny games. But otherwise, it was amazing because Cañaveral is on a small peninsula. There's no one around. We were able to go straight from the road out to the beach, ride back to where we were staying on the beach with no one around. It was amazing. Speaking of the beach, where we were staying in Cañaveral was perfect. We could literally walk 50 feet and get to the beach and there's no one there. The waves were very chill. The weather was absolutely perfect and we were just having a good time. And this is our beautiful friend Jake. Jake is one of my best friends from my time spent in Medellin and you'll see him a lot over the next few episodes. Now let's get to something that I think people wonder about all the time and it's how do I make food in the camper van. I don't have a fancy camper van, I just have a double burner Coleman camping stove that the previous owners left inside of the van when I bought it. And for me it works fine, you can make any food you want and here we made some curry lentils and I think they were really good. Other realities of the road, we had to do laundry by hand one day because we were using bug spray every night because mosquitoes were literally eating us alive. Also, we had to work, but why not work with a coconut in your hand? Another major component of the trip for me is to learn new things. And I saw this slack line in the area that we were camping and I decided I want to try to learn how to do slackline. <sighs> Sweat. So luckily Jake is relatively good at, at slackline and he was able to give me some pointers on what to do. But I tried to dedicate about an hour every single day to just learning and understanding slackline. And this is a major thing for me during the trip. I mean, even just leaving Medellin was a major learning experience because I didn't know how to drive stick. So I had to learn how to drive manual car in the vehicle, which I was now gonna be trying to drive around all of South America. Overall, Cañaveral, perfect start to the Ecuadorian coast. Amazing secluded camping spot, delicious food every day. It made us so excited for what was to come next. You guys are gonna see over the next few weeks how diverse the Ecuadorian coast is and how much it has to offer. Tune in and check it out. This is episode two of the series of my time spent on the Ecuadorian coast. And I wanna share all of it with you guys. I'm gonna be making multiple episodes about all of the different places that we went, all of the wonderful experiences that we had. So stay tuned, like, comment, share, do all that nonsense. And I'll talk to you guys soon.